Hi, welcome back. I'm Dr. Greg Chappelle. Today I want to talk to you about fluoride. And it's interesting that uh, not too long ago I was just talking to my dentist and he still sold on the fact that fluoride is the best thing that ever hit the pike. But the American uh, Journal of American Dental Association and the Center for Disease Control have recently come out and said that actually fluoride is bad for your teeth. Uh, besides the fluorosis it can cause, which is the kind of modeling, the discoloration of the, of the teeth, there's also a major concern about the other um, potential health issues it could have for the rest of the body. It doesn't just affect the teeth, it can also affect your bones. And uh, a short list is uh, brain damage, lowered IQ, genetic damage, it disrupts the synthesis of connective tissue called collagen in the body, which can increase the physical aging process. Um, arthritis, increased tumors and cancer, hyperactivity in children, uh, dementia, it inactivates 62 different enzymes. Enzymes are what catalyze the metabolic processes in the body and if they're deactivated, uh, things don't move through the metabolic pathways correctly and organs and tissues and so forth can't function correctly. Uh, disrupted immune system, which uh, inhibits your ability to fight off bacteria, viruses and cancer. About muscle disorders and uh, damaged uh, sperm and increased infertility. You, know, you see such an increase in, in uh, infertility nowadays, and I think this probably has a lot to do with it because so many fl fluoridated water systems in our country. You know, the one, another big issue that's coming up with this is also about infants and infant uh, formula that's reconstituted with fluoridated water and the effect that could be having on these children as they're in their developing years and their brain function and, and their intelligence. Uh, they're saying that pregnant women, even uh, drinking fluoridated water while they're pregnant, can have an, an influence on the, uh, the fetus as it's going through its developmental process. So you want to uh, try to, if you're on a city water system that's been fluoridated, obviously you don't want to consume it. Uh, bottled water is still a, a, a question because of the fact that a lot of bottled water is, is um, yeah, it comes from regular uh, city systems. And so the best thing to do is, if you can, try to get a reverse osmosis system. That's what takes uh, literally everything out of the water and, and gets it back to its pure state. So. Understanding that, you know, the big question, the red flag comes up then, well, what do I do about tooth decay? Well, tooth decay is really not about something that you ingest and goes through your blood system. It's really about what you have in your mouth. It's about the acids that are uh, eating away at the an animal, and those acids are caused by um, chemical reactions, particularly with sugar in the mouth. So it's trying to stay away from sugar, high fructose corn syrup, which is basically in everything nowadays. All, uh, a lot of drinks that are flavored have high fructose corn syrup in them. Uh, you know, it's interesting when you look at the whole argument with fluoridation is that there have never been any demonstrated differences between countries or states within the United States that uh, use fluoridation and those that, that don't. So it's really not that one uses it and one doesn't. One has more tooth decay and the other one doesn't. So. Um, I also understand that the fluoride that is added to your water is basically toxic chemical waste products, a lot of what come out of China. It's a lot easier for them to dump them into your water system than it is for them to find some way to, to store a hazardous material. So we need to stop the insanity and stop drinking uh, fluoridated water. Uh, check your toothpaste out. You know what's really interesting about this? If you take a toothpaste tube that is, is a, has, has uh, fluorine... Um, in it, if you look at the fine print on the back of it, it'll basically say if you ingest more than a, a small amount that you typically use to brush with, that it can, uh, that you need to call your medical doctor or poison control. So, you know, I mean, a small amount like that, is that okay? And then over a long period of time, what if you're brushing multiple times a day and that, and that fluoride is being absorbed into your gums and in, into your blood system? I mean, it's just because you don't ingest uh, a whole lot at one little time, I, I think the additive effects could, could cause problems over time also. So look at the back of your toothpaste tube and see that uh, it's obviously a poison because if you get too much of it, it's going to have significant effects on your body. If you want to really get involved, you can get a hold of uh, an organization called Fluoride Alert. It's www.fluoridealert.org. And that's www.fluoridealert.org, and you can get involved and read some more. So I'm Dr. Greg Chappelle. Thanks for joining me today, and hopefully this will help uh, reduce some of the toxicity in your body and, and in your children's. Thanks for joining me, and remember, you got one life to live. Let's live it well.